Welcome back. In this video, we'll be going a bit more in depth in how Winbox works and the different things that you can achieve in Winbox. So let's get into it. I'm just going to change my screens. And here we can see the Winbox window. I'm going to connect to the Mikrotik router using its IP address. Login admin, password blank. I'm going to connect. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to explain um, what's happening. So with Winbox, at the very top, you'll see there's three different uh, options. You get your session, you get your settings, and you get your dashboard. So even before this, if you look at the very top, you can see there's an admin at. It shows you what your login is that you logged in with, how you logged into the device, so what the IP address is you logged in with the session, what the device's name is or the router identity, uh, what Winbox's version is, and that's about it. So besides that, we get these three boxes, uh, session, settings, dashboard. With the setting or, or the session, uh, the biggest things that you'll be doing here is you'll be disconnecting or closing windows, uh, stuff like that. It's, it's things that's happening in the session that you're in now when you're connected to the Microtech. Your settings, it allows you to hide passwords whenever you're configuring a password, give you inline comments. And what's useful is for people that might be, because maybe you're like, thinking this screen is too small, we can zoom in using the settings. So what I'll do is I'll just zoom in with Winbox. So it makes everything a bit bigger. And then you can clearly see what the text is and uh, what everything else is. The dashboard is quite nice because with the dashboard, if you click any of these options, if I add time, it will add a widget, I can say, with the time in it. Um, I can add the CPU, which tells you how much of the CPU of the device is being used memory, uptime, all the good things that you might want to see on a device. I think the memory usage, CPU and uptime is really important just to give you a good indication of how long the device has been running and what the resources look like. Um, other than that, you get also these undo and redo uh, functions. I rarely use them, but the option is there. If you do accidentally make a mistake, you can undo it or you can redo a command that you might have accidentally removed. Um, safe mode, now this is quite important. So safe mode allows you to effectively make changes uh, on the router without breaking anything. Let me just quickly reconnect. Sorry, I, got, I dropped my session to this device uh, for some reason. Let me just connect onto the MAC address. Uh, there we go. So safe mode, what this allows us to do, let me just zoom back in. Uh, control, there we go. So if I click on safe mode, you'll see it actually gets pressed in, it gets grayed out. And then what it is telling us is anything that I change on the device during safe mode, it will revert if my session isn't closed or if I don't click the safe mode button again. So if I click safe mode, I make any changes and I accidentally get knocked off of the router and I reboot the device, all of the configuration that I made will be reverted, which is a good thing sometimes because maybe you made a mistake and that caused an issue. Safe mode allows you to revert the changes in a, in a good manner. So to reiterate, if you click safe mode, any commands that you change or any settings that you change will only take effect once you click safe mode again. If you click safe mode, you make changes and you log out of the router, you're gonna lose all of your changes. So make sure if you're using safe mode, what you're doing with it. If safe mode is off and you make changes, they're applied and they're just on the router automatically. Now we've got this nice big taskbar and each taskbar or, or each of these items represent a different thing that you can access through Winbox, obviously. So we've got our quick set, which is the same as on Webfig, that you can quickly set or configure the device with certain settings. Um, Capsman, we're not gonna look at at this uh, course. Interfaces, so this is quite important. So interfaces is the actual physical interfaces on the router that you can see. So you can also configure stuff like VLANs, which we will look at at the RE course. But um, these physical interfaces, these ports, are all listed on the interface list. And this will also tell you whether a port is up and running. So if it's got the R, it, it's actually receiving signals and it's able to connect and communicate. Uh, if you double click on a option or a thing here, you'll, you'll actually see what what the name is, um, all of the different features, but I'll go over the interfaces in a separate setting. I just want you to understand 
This will cover all of the physical interfaces as well as any other types of tunneling software you might uh, configure on the device. We get on wireless, which is where we can configure WLAN to connect either to an access point or to make the router an access point, which will go over in the wireless section. We've got a bridge and I explained earlier kind of what a bridge does. And there is a separate section specifically for bridges, but in short, it allows us to create certain ports on the router to work as a switch. We've got our triple P. So this is effectively like connecting on PPPoE or L2TP or stuff like that. Um, there's the switch chip. So if, if it's a physical router board, you will obviously have the switch option here. And this will allow you to do different type of switching functions, but don't worry too much about it. You won't get quizzed on it on the MTCNA. Meshes, don't worry about that. IP addressing here. So this is what I need to show you with Winbox as well. Besides these options here, if the option has this arrow going to the right, it means there's more sub menus that you can go through. So with IP, as you can see, IP actually has a lot of different things that you can do with it. So I'm not going to go through every last thing in this video. It's just to show you that there are more options than what you see if there are arrows. MPLS, you really don't need to worry about in the MTCNA. This is covered in the MTCINE, which is the last certification that you can get with Microtech. Uh, there's the routing. So dynamic routing will cover not in MTCNA, some of it in MTCRE, a lot of it in MTCINE system. So this is where we can configure system specific stuff like an identity, which is the host name. Uh, we can configure logging. So this is effectively things related to the system itself, to the physical router board. Uh, queues, we will be playing around with some queues or QoS later on in the course. So quite exciting. Files, so this is a separate section we'll go through in a video quite soon. Logs, just shows you all of the logs that's being picked up. And tools, which is awesome because there are some great troubleshooting tools that Microtech has exclusively available that you can use uh, to, you know, manage your network or do some troubleshooting, which I enjoy. So this is going to cover Winbox itself. Um, I'm not going to go into, like I said, all of the menus. I don't want to explain everything. It's just to show you or make you understand that there are options in the menu that you can go into and you can access different sub menus from the options. So that covers Winbox. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.